and in this and in this overlapping generation economy, if there is no money, then what's going to happen is that there is going to be no trade. And the reason is as follows. So consider um, consider us and our parents. So um, in period one, our parents are old, we are young, right? So we, we coexist with our parents. Our parents are old, they are retired, they cannot climb the tree to pick bananas. So they really want to get some bananas to eat. At the same time, we are young and we can climb the tree to get white bananas. We have a lot of bananas. So um, our parents are really tempted to come to us and ask for some bananas. In that case, they can have some bananas to eat. However, um, so basically we have some bananas and that's what our parents want. Uh, however, what do we want? Well, we are going to worry about period two when we become old. When we become old, we can no longer climb the tree and we have no, no bananas to eat. So we really want some bananas to eat when we are old in period two. However, by period two, our parents are no longer alive. So as a result, we have what the parents' generation wants, but they do not have what we want. And because and this happens exactly because of the overlapping generation structure. Consecutive generations, they only meet once in time. They never meet again. So it's really hard to form some, some kind of borrowing today and then pay back tomorrow kind of agreement. That's just not possible when the successive generations only meet once. As a result, the outcome without money is that there is going to be no trade. And every generation are just going to eat Y when they're young and a zero when they're old. And their lifetime happiness CY times CO is equal to zero. So this outcome is not particularly attractive.